Hey, GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we are here today doing the Alpha 12 series with me under attack. No, we're not under attack. Um, but we will be attacked in, you know... Wow. Whew. <laughs> we're, we're getting close to being attacked in a few days here. So I think we need to really push it. Um, so I, I slept for the night. We got all of our concrete blocks made. We got 500 of them. That should be excellent. We've got a whole bunch of fuel made. So that's excellent. So I think what we could do... You know, we have this one wall up here. We've got these concrete blocks. Let's, we are close enough to stay connected to the base. So I think we need to do that. Let's connect to the base. Uh, we want that one, right? Yeah, the big empty one. That stuff is going to, you know what? We're going to throw some of that stuff in there right now. That doesn't belong in the... In the constructor input there that way it's easier to spot when I'm looking through I should really I can rename these but I'm gonna be popping these out once I get a proper construction room built so I'm you know it's not that big of a deal so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to connect to this one and then we're going to load up the blocks into it should be able to hold quite a bit. 16,000, eh? So let's see how many it can grab. Nope. <laughs> nope. 196. Not bad. Not bad. So let's go ahead and start putting those in right now, then. Uh, here, we can take some oxygen really quick. Always got to be mindful of my oxygen and food levels. We'll just top these up while we're stopped right now so that I don't have to do it in the middle of stuff. There we go. Okay, let's launch the drone. And what we're going to do is flip to the blocks on our bar. And we're going to fill this in here. So I can just... I could either single click and drag it or I could control and and drag upwards at the same time to fill in the whole wall so I'm going to do that it's much quicker still not sure if that's that might get popped out for a window for like some uh, combat windows eventually but for now we're just going to build some walls I know it's just going to be a complete box right now, but I do have a plan. So, and you know what? I can I can probably put a roof on this now too, right? One, two, three, four, five. That's good. I'm going to stretch that across. There. Oops. You know what? I'm too far with the drone. There we go. Okay, and it's easier to do it if you, there we go, now I want, oh, the, come on, the, oh, stop it, there we go, that far, nope, one more in, there we go, boom, oh, you know what, that was too far, crap, that was too far. Why did I do that? Now I gotta take all this out. Okay, so hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine across there. 
If I did a full nine by five, yeah, let's knock this out. Let's knock this out. Yep. Or wait, is it? How did they? Hmm. I think I'm gonna have to knock it out anyway, even if I do a seven. I'm not sure if there is a nine by five. There might be. I think there is. Yeah, I have a feeling I gotta knock this out. So let's just do it. Bite the bullet. Let's do it. Retrieve the blocks. At least I have the uh, the tool now instead of the survival tool. I have the multi tool, which is way faster. And then there's still an upgrade for this too, the multi-tool tier two, which uh, is super fast. It basically just pops these cement blocks one hit. Boom, 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 boom. Super fast. That wasn't so bad. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're going to leave that open for the garage door because all this equipment eventually is just going to be moved out of here. This isn't where it's going to stay. This is the garage, after all. Eventually, what I want to do is extend out the sides and have a sloped wall up. And then and that'll taper so that the angle will change to be not so steep across. And then until it gets to three. And then it'll go across by three and then come down again at the two to one slope and then it'll be a one-to-one -one slope from there so it'll be and then I don't know if I'll bring it all the way slope down to the ground or slope down to like one or two maybe maybe two blocks two blocks under or two two blocks above the ground maybe yeah we'll see but this isn't the final shape of it. This is going to be uh, just how we start. Um, okay, so now that we have a large thing, can we were we able to actually make the um, the door? Can I make the door? No. Yes, I can. Oh, I don't have enough points. Oh, I'm short by three points. Darn it. We can make a shutter door, though. A massive shutter door. Hmm. That's an interesting thought, too. I'm not sure how wide. We might have to make two of them. We could do shutter doors. They're really annoying for vehicles, though. I'd have to set up some sensors. Ugh. That sucks. I went a little crazy with my point grabbing. Darn it. Um, well, if we... Okay, we've got, we've got the ammo box. If we, if we take the sentry gun and make that... If we make that stuff, will it count? Let's try. Let's try. Here. Let's go in this way. So we want the. We don't have an ammo box, do we? No, we can make it. So we'll do that. And then the sentry. We'll see if this completes it. We'll see if this completes it. Okay, so let's turn that on. like we got to install it for it to count okay okay that's fine I can move it later I can always move it later um, sure there we go and turret are you ready nope 
Okay. That could take a bit. They have a lot of components to them. Yeah. See, it's too bad you can't click into the control panel from here. If I'm looking at something, if I'm in the control panel and I leave the control panel, I can't get back in without without hitting P. It's, it's interesting. Uh, I guess I have to be standing on it. Maybe I have to be standing on it. Okay. Well, it looks like it's done. So let's grab that. Uh... Let's just put this one to either to one of the sides here. Oh yeah, let's see, I'm gonna get delinked. Let's put this here, and we're gonna just spin this like that, and then flip it to there, and boom, we are finished. Well done, you're basically set. Oh, okay, so we did the Robson protocol. Do we actually get? Oh. Prologue, starting the journey. This is, I, okay, this is, this continues. You barely escaped an inferno with your life. You survived a hard crash and a battered escape pod. You faced the dangers of this unknown world. Now it's time to find some answers. Okay, well, let's go. <laughs> so we're getting uh, a countdown, a countdown. That's, oh, here we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. And I'm, I'm, I'm like gonna die here from overheating because I'm stuck on this dialogue. <laughs> Come on, go! Sorry, you guys, I can't. I, I gotta go really fast to get out of this dialogue. Come on! Oh my God! Sorry, guys. You guys will just have to do it yourselves. I guess. <laughs> sorry, it's, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't get out of this dialogue unless I quit. I guess. Oh my god, that's what I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I get, you know what? Oh, I have to I have to like quit out of the dialogue because it's gonna kill me. Sorry guys. Bad timing. <laughs> uh, that was a hell of a lot of dialogue. I have no idea what the frick any of it. I'm gonna have to go back in and read it all. But I was stressing because it was like overheating. <laughs> I'm, I was going to die if I kept reading that crap. Okay, um, so how do we get back? How do we start? Or what are we in? What are we started now? What are we in? We are in, oh, okay, solo mission. Start. Oh, it started the first solo mission after you complete the Robson Protocol. Isn't that interesting? That's pretty cool. Okay, so now we know. Uh, can we actually, can we read what the hell all that was? You barely, uh, mm, I'm tracking a UCH fleet signal sent from a nearby station. Hmm. And, unfor oh, okay. Uh yeah. Sorry, guys. I missed all that dialogue because I was panicking through freaking cooking to death. Oh, well. <laughs> wow. It, like, trapped me in the dialogue, and I was like, oh, do I escape or try and, like, read it really fast? <laughs> just go really fast through it and try and read. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. It was too fast, and I was just panicking. Oh, well. <laughs> Oh God! Okay, let's let's breathe, breathe. Well, we crash site station. Yeah, find the station. That's fine and dandy, but the teleport station. Oh, I think we already looked at that, didn't we? Maybe not. Anyway, um, I think what we want to do is keep trying to build this thing. So. Did we get action points for that? Did we actually get action points? No. 
So it doesn't doing the Robson protocol does not give you action points anymore. That's interesting. Okay, so they changed that. Um, that's fine. That's fine. It. Um, I thought it did. I mean, that was the whole point of doing it, really. <laughs> oh well. I guess that's why I'm out of action points right now. <sighs> that means we got a level because we don't have the action points to build the the door to seal this in. Or what else? What else? What else do we need? We need. Um, we don't need the ore scanner. We need. Okay, so we we can build that. We can build the fuel. We don't have an O2 station. But we don't necessarily need that. Yeah, I, I need the hangar doors. Crap. Hangar doors and projectile turret. Yeah, I know. We, uh, <laughs> we're taking a little bit of break from building because I can't build the door to seal the building. So let's level a bit. So I'm just uh, out here. Um, grinding on stuff out in the desert. So we'll kill this guy, this uh, golem here. There we go. 1000 XP, just like that. But the better part of this is actually what he's got on him. Oh yeah, look at that. What a score. Okay, got lots of meat on me from the Otogs. I've just been trying to kill stuff at night here because that's when it all spawns. Entering Xerax territory. Ooh, are we now? We are. Okay, so I've got to be a little bit careful of that. Wow, we really drifted from our base. Holy crap. <laughs> I didn't realize I came all the way over here. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep doing this to level up, and then I'll meet you guys back at base, basically. Okay, we're back at base. I leveled up, um, but it's dark out, so I want to sleep for the night, but I'm going to spoil. All my stuff's going to spoil here. So why don't we... I built a... Um, Fridge, so I'm going to put this in. It's not the way I want. Yeah, we'll just. That's good there. Let's stick it there. And then we'll go in and put our stuff in the fridge. Excellent. There. I mean, we do need more spoiled food than that, but uh, not right now. We actually need the meat more than anything. Okay. Okay, excellent. We have a fridge. Let's sleep for the night. Okay, um, how's that doing? It should have pumped out a whole, yeah, we've got just a ton. Uh, top that up, okay. I will put out a regular water generator soon enough. I just want to get this door up here. So now that we, did we learn it? We did not learn it. We unlocked the level, but we didn't learn it, so let's go into base. Uh, you know what? Let's, that's only four points. I want that. We're going to probably, we're going to need that and that and that. We'll take the hangar door. Um, we're probably going to need, we only got ten points now, so let's hang on. Let's hold off from spending the rest of those points. So now... We should be able to put in the door. So let's here, let's auto group this. We'll go into our constructor. Oh, actually, before we do anything, let's take a look to see what our uh, statistics are. So in less than three days, we're getting attacked. And CPU wise, oh yeah, we're way under CPU. But as soon as we throw some turrets up, that's going to change. Uh, consumption 38 and output of 162 so we're charging our battery okay that won't be for long as soon as we start using our um, constructor 
Okay, so now we can make the, we should be able to make it. Yep, let's make the hangar door. Get a couple lights going. And then, you know what, we'll do wireless. We're going to need, um, I only got 40 blocks in there. Now, did I, I think I made a whole ton, didn't I? Yeah, so we got 300 there. We should actually, we're going to need more than that even. Um, let's make another, let's make at least another 300. make an, an even 500 shall we okay um, well let's connect to the base again we should be able to connect to the other one what do we got in there so we've got 6,000 not much let's put this door on here we'll connect to it and we'll put the door on uh, we don't need the concrete blocks. Well, we do need the concrete blocks right now. We're going to be building with them real quick again. But in the meantime, uh, so this is going to be a what was it a nine by a nine by five? I think that's it right there. Boom. Yep. Okay, that should be sealed now. It indeed is. Yay! We can hang out inside now. Yay! Okay, we've got some lights. Didn't we make some lights? We, uh, yeah, we did. And we've got a Wi-Fi. Sweet. Okay. So let's get these up. Start right in the center here. One back. Go with that style there. And then we'll do same thing. Right there. Um, here, that sucks though. Just group that up really quick so that we can select both of them at the same time. I'm going to turn the intensity up by another one and the range to max and apply that to the group. And there we go. We've got some light in here. Excellent. So we've got protection from the elements. We need to oxygenate this, though. So uh, I, I guess now is the time to actually get a couple of or a few water generators. So let's make three of those got 12 yeah I've got enough fuel to power and then what what else do we need to make we need um, we need to make a regular generator fuel tank so generator and a fuel tank Okay. Now, did I make? So, I, what was I doing in this one? Yeah, I made a ton. I thought I, I thought I made a ton. Okay. So we've got the fuel. We've got some generators being made here. Two of them for water collection, and then one of them to power the base. Because it's going to run out on the wet so little solar power it's got right now. Uh, okay, we can put this in though. And, and again, the placement of all this stuff in here is just temporary. So I'm just going to... It's good enough for now. Okay, we've got two made. We'll get two more made. We'll get this stuff put in and I'll call it an episode. It's getting to be a long episode now. Um, yeah, yeah, we're, we're doing good. I mean, yeah, it's just a box right now. It's just a box. I realize that, but at least it's sealed and we've got three days to get some 
proper guns on it, which I think we can do really quick. I, I, I plan on doing that uh, next episode, really, is, is decking it out with the uh, cannon turrets uh, and some more of the sentry guns. So we'll have some more defense for us when we do get attacked. Uh, well, how's this doing? Good. Okay, you know what? Let's take some of this. We really need to get a garden going. Big time. Big time. I'm going through food so fast. And we got to establish some uh, cred with the locals so that uh, we can start buying from them. Uh, let's take a look at that. So we can we can buy from the Polaris right now because we're friendly with them. We're getting pretty close to friendly with the with the Talon. That's good. We're totally hostile with the Xerox though. Everyone else is neutral. So we can currently trade with the Polaris. That's good. That's good. I think uh, I think what I want to do is is you know we can run some guns or something for him temporarily and uh, get some. Get some boosts that are going to help us in this weather. Um, yeah, in the meantime, I'm just going to put these down really quick. See if I can do this without actually dying from heat stroke. I'm going to have to jump in the water. Okay, and then, you know what? I'm just going to turn them on completely. Fill them right up. Why not? Why not? Uh, it's not like I'm not going to need the water. Okay, we have our water generation. And I'm just cooking now. Just about to overheat. That's okay. We are comfy cozy. Back in our shack. There we go. Yay! Um, let's get that in and that in and we will call it an episode. And we will uh, put the... I'm going to put this up here. That looks good. And that looks good there. And then we'll put fuel in it. Um, here, let's auto group everything first and then let's just dump that in there we go there we go okay we ain't running out of fuel anytime soon and now that we've got water collecting oh we we've got a lot of water here i wonder if we can um i can turn that i believe i not that one is it that one no it's still in here isn't it yeah um here let's grab that so I'll grab that too. I believe I can turn that. Oh, we're unfriendly with the Xerox? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. They're still going to come to kill us, right? Yeah, in less than two days now, apparently. <laughs> they like us more, but they're going to kill us quicker. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We'll be ready for them. We'll be ready now that we've got a sealed base. Uh, oh, speaking of, let's get a ventilator and some oxygen. Um, ventilator and O2 SVHV, small O2 base. Okay, we'll get a couple of those made. I don't have any. I can make. I could turn this purified water into. Oh yeah, we've got. Was that a hundred purified water in the in the? Yeah, so we've got lots. We've got lots. We can start uh, filling this thing up now. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure if you can turn purified water into anything in here because that requires a water container, and you can't just make a water container out of purified water. I don't. Think, can you? Water container. Ice blocks. 
oh, you can make water containers now out of ice blocks. Ice blocks? Okay, well, isn't that interesting? That, so that's new. Uh, I did not, because I guess, I, you know, I haven't done anything with the ice yet in Alpha 12. So that's interesting. So we have another way of generating water from mining up ice. Okay, that's cool. I like it. Wonder if, I wonder if we can get ice out in space. That'll be interesting. We could get water out in space then. And uh, and we wouldn't have to put ox uh, water generators down on, on a planet. That, that would be epic. That would make... That, that's game changing. Like, seriously. Like, being able to go to, like, some asteroid belt and set up camp there because the solar is good and, all, and it has a whole ton of, like, ice... Yeah, and other resources, that's awesome. Um, you could be self-sufficient without having to uh, be at a water planet. Oh, should we just stick it there? It's going to get blown up. Well, whatever. We'll just stick it there for now. And then we'll put one of these to either side. Good enough. Okay. And then 20. I don't think 20 is going to be enough, but I got a bunch on me. Here, let's keep Let's just keep making these. Let's just keep making these. And we'll go into the control panel and let's see what like 20 is going to do. Oh, 35%, that's not bad. Okay, well, you know what, we'll just use the rest there. That's fine. Okay, so we have oxygen. We can turn that on now. Oops, Put this one. And oxygen, there we go. There we go. And there we go, oxygen symbol. So I can actually, you know, if I want, I can take my helmet off. And I'm not going to suffocate. But it doesn't really matter. Helmet on or off, it just doesn't matter anymore. It all depends on if the symbol is there. If the symbol is there for the O2, then, then you don't need to worry about your suit uh, oxygen getting used. If you don't have the O2 symbol on, then you have to have your helmet on and it'll consume your suit O2. Uh, one more thing I think I want to do. I want to put up a, speaking of O2, I want to put up, we can do a clone chamber O2. Clone chamber is not a bad idea. Let's make one. It's going to be a while before I hit level 10 or 11 or 12 or whatever it is to make one. So to make a uh, medical device. So might as well get a clone chamber at least. That way we can lift our tent. Uh, and I can build a, with a large constructor. I can also build some deco. So I can put... Uh, I can put down a shower and a bed. Okay. So that's the clone chamber. Good. Let's put this in and we can top up our O2. Uh, where should I put it? It's going to get blown up. All this stuff is going to get moved, by the way. there's. I plan on moving everything out of here. It's just that it's all, it's really close to the. We're gonna have to move the core too. Okay, you know what? For now, that's good. Let's top up our tank. There we go. Sweet, sweet. We're getting set up now. We're getting set up. We're out of the elements. We're into a protected environment. Uh, that is a huge step for us. Next episode, we will. We need to get a garden going. We can trade with the Polaris now, but I think we need to also um, get the faction going with the um, with the Talon, uh, and we can start getting Talon faction if we if we continue on with the with the quest line that we're on right now. It'll take us through a bunch of Talon stuff that will I think we'll end up being friendly with them. After doing it, so yeah, 
Uh, it bounces you around between Polaris and Talon now, uh, doing a bunch of quests for them, and, and it leads it leads you through a storyline. So we'll 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 start doing that. But we got to get this base set up for us. Um, we got to get uh, we got to get Sprouts. I don't think we got any, do we? Uh, yeah, we got none. We got none. Yeah, none. Wow, okay. That's okay, we should be able to get everything we need from the Talon once we get friendly with them. Same with them. We should be able to get everything we need from the Polaris right now. I'm just not sure if they're trading stations, if we can buy... I need to find one of their their uh, Aunt Mary Gardener centers. Well, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, next episode, we will continue on. The base basically is going to have two rooms on either side uh, with sloping, sloping ceilings. And then the ceiling is going to continue to slope, slope up over the base. Uh, so there's going to be an upstairs to it. And then there's going to be two side rooms. I'm hoping the two side rooms are going to be big enough for um, for the um, con con you know constructor construction room and the other one to be a garden. If it's if it's not big enough, I might have to turn both sides into a garden and then dig down. And make a big basement for the construction room, which I might do anyway. I'm going to probably have to because I don't think this two side rooms, the upstairs, are going to be enough anyway. I'm probably going to have to dig down and make another level underneath here. So, uh, But in the meantime, we need to get this thing prepped for our first attack. So that means getting some more turrets up and stuff like that, which will be next episode. So until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day.